Hey gamers, welcome to Board Games and Beyond, our weekly show here at Game Trade Media where we talk about what's news and what's new in the gaming industry. I'm Rick. And I'm Gretchen. And so we're going to jump right into it with the news. So here we are with the news. Starfinder has uh, just announced the di Diaspora strain or Diaspora strain. We're going to go with, it's one of those two. Uh, the first volume in the Signal of Screams adventure path. Books include advice for running horror campaigns in Starfinder and an archive of alien terrors. Ooh, mm. that sounds fun. So, yeah, I look forward Ooh. to that. What do you got? I have Ocean by North Star Games. We love those guys. We do. Um, so four years in the making, Oceans is the next standalone game in the award-winning Evolution series. This foundation loosely mimics a scientific oceanic ecosystem similar to what you've come to expect from games in the Evolution series. Um, this is the core of Oceans, and it's playable on its own, but there's more if you are willing to dive a bit deeper. Yeah. And you know what's also cool that's new? What? What's new this week? <gasps> Let's check it out. All right, so new this week, we have Horizons by Alien at the Game. We have them right here, right in front of us. In Horizons, you are a starfaring species taking the first steps into a new galaxy. Hmm. Find new stars, explore new worlds, collect valuable resources, and secure allies to gain the most ground in expanding your empire. Build colonies and resource collectors to hold onto, contr onto control in various and increasingly crowded star systems. Oof, that's a lot of words. That's Do you have what it takes to manipulate the resources at your disposal? Disposal? and control the galaxy? I don't know, but you'll find out in Horizons. It, it's a good snowed in game. It is, but you have a really good game to talk I about. I do, I'm so I have, it's, it's teeny. Good things come in small packages. So I have Dungeon Mayhem. So in this action-packed Dungeons & Dragons card game, you win by being the last adventurer standing. Play as one of four brave, quirky characters, a barbarian, paladin, rogue, or wizard, battling it out in a dungeon full of treasure. With magic missiles slinging, dual daggers slinging, and spiked shields dinging. Gotta say that five mm, times fast. I love that. <laughs> It's up to you to prove your adventure has the guts to bring home the glory. This game is for ages eight and up, and it plays for two to four players. So if you love D&D, this is going to be the fun game night rendition of it when you maybe don't have the whole party there yeah. together and you need something else. It's so this fun gonna... and it's super fast. Oh, it's a fast play best. game and it's so much fun. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna need to add that to our contest. Ooh. To our D and D flavored contest, I our think, epic D and D pack. I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. So make sure that if you haven't already entered, you check out the D and D game uh, epic prize pack we have going on on Facebook. You can find it on in the chat or in the uh, news feed on our Game Trade Media Facebook page, and that'll be Let's added to that prize pack. <laughs> so much good stuff. <laughs> it's a good little laugh there. All right. So now, the big, the biggest, what's new this week? Last weekend, they did the pre-release of mm -hmm. Keyforge. You can see we got a few things laid out here. Keyforge had their pre-release. I asked a few, I asked a lot of retailers what their um, turnout was like. Uh, got a few responses back, and both of them were basically, we had more players than we had product. We, they were not prepared in a good way. You yeah, know, no, that's definitely, it's always good to have people that excited yeah. about getting a new game. Absolutely, and this week's is the release of the game. So Keyforge, you've probably, if you've been at your local game store recently, you've probably seen these table tents set up somewhere, talking about when it's going to go down, all the cool things that are going to happen. Inside this cool little launch party bundle that the retailers got came some posters, uh, these really nice uh, mat um, mats that kind of teach you the fields of play, you have your battle line where you place your artifacts, uh, your keys that you're trying to forge in the game, and then the different places for your deck, your archon, your draw deck, and your discard pile. And it also tells you the turn sequence. It's a really cool um, thing to have when you're learning a game, obviously, is all the rules are right there, ready to play. And then some cool posters, but the one I wanted to show besides that is there is a design your own Archon poster. Uh, so you can design your own Archon, which is really cool. And I think every store should absolutely utilize this as a contest. Mm -hmm. Like people come up with a fun name. Every store has their local artist. Oh yeah. Have them draw something cool and then put the different um, house 
that they the three different houses that that represent that that archon. That'd be um, fun. Yeah, I kind of feel like we should do one, and it will be Dave, painter of all things, and have an <laughs> image of some image of Dave, and then have a few uh, fun houses up here. I mean, there's, there's twelve houses to choose from. Oh yeah. So there's which plenty. one do paintbrush lickers go in? <laughs> I have no idea. Probably the necromantic one. <laughs> Um, so that's pretty cool. And there's a lot of other cool stuff in there. So make sure you head out to your local store this week, this weekend, when the launch party for is being held, and participate. Become a, a fan of Keyforge. It's a fun game. It's absolutely worth taking a look at. And what All else right. is fun? Our video spotlight. Yeah. Check it out. Hi everybody, uh, Dave Taylor here for Game Trade Media. Uh, we're at Alliance Open House uh, today, and uh, now I'm talking with uh, Adam Rayberg from Adam's Apple Games. Hello, thanks for uh, having me. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, now, last night, uh, I know that uh, Rick and Johnny were, were sitting down having a chat with you, um, but I'm really super curious about what you've brought in today. Yeah, so. this is something unique, um, something you can grab your hands on. It's a game called Sword Crafters. Excellent. Um, it's a game about crafting a sword, and each player has a three-dimensional sword that they hold okay. uh, as they play. Slide that out of the way. Yeah. And uh, at the end of the game, you're comparing your swords. So, oh, right. of course, right? <laughs> like, comparing it three ways. So, based on length, based on quality. And quality is the number of gems in a row on one side. So, on okay. this side, we'd have one, two, three, four quality. Yep. And then magic. And magic is a combination of two different gem types. It's a set collection type game. Oh, okay, ready. Yeah. On. But How cool is that? Yeah. Sword Crafters by Adam Apple's oh. Games. That's a cool game. Oh, it's a cool... Anything with swords yeah. is automatically I themed. Know, yeah, it's just the cool thing. Can I fight with those swords after I forge them? I don't know, but you're... I mean, what's the name of the community that you're in? The sword community? The sword community? That would be the HEMA community. The HEMA community. Yeah. Speaking of community, we probably should give some shout-outs. <laughs> So let's give our yeah. community shout outs. You've got a really good one. I do. So we have Level Up. It's in St. Paul, Minnesota. So the Level Up family of stores is your best choice for board, video, and card gaming. With open gaming space at all locations available during all open hours, Level Up Games is the perfect place to bring family or friends and enjoy some time throwing down in a demo board game or a pickup game of magic. So I'm shouting out to Shall We Play? <laughs> this is a game store in Las Vegas, Nevada. Their website states, Shall We Play is committed to creating an inviting, family-friendly, and game-oriented atmosphere while promoting social interaction among people with the intention of bringing them together using games as a foundation for fun. <laughs> uh, so if you want your store shouted out here on Game Trade Media, let us know in the comments below. Say, hey, my favorite store is this, and we would love to shout it out. So make sure that happens. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to our sad end of our episode. Uh, again? Always. Oh. Yeah. It has to have a great beginning and a sad end. All right. All right. So in, on that note, this has been Board Games Beyond. I'm Rick. And I'm Gretchen. And we'll see you at the game store. Thanks for watching Board Games and Beyond. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment below and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any new content.